Hello everyone, in this video we'll share with you a technique of lens aspiration and implantation of double aniridia ring segments in a case of congenital cataract in aniridia. Aniridia rings come in different designs and can be used for various types of aniridia, such as congenital, traumatic, and surgical. The surgery was started by opening a side port. The anterior lens capsule was stained with tripan blue under an air bubble, as this will help enhance visualization. After that, the anterior chamber was inflated with the use of a cohesive viscoelastic agent. Then a standard 2mm clear corneal incision was performed approximately 90 degrees away from the side port. A 5.5mm capsular excess was done using a microforceps in a continuous curvilinear fashion. This was followed by gentle hydrodissection to loosen the attachments between the lens and its capsule, and the same thing was also repeated on the other side. Then we proceeded with lens aspiration by using the phaco probe. The lens was soft, therefore no ultrasound power was needed. A spatula was used for manipulation and to aid the phaco probe in aspiration. Minimal cortical remnants were left behind and with gentle viscodissection, they were separated from the capsular bag. And then aspiration was easily performed using the INA probe. Now that the cataract was removed, the next step was inserting the aniridia rings. The ring can be handled easily, it is inserted without an injector, and it is manipulated intraocularly without any difficulty. However, the rings are fragile and care must be taken to avoid breaking them, especially during insertion. The implant that we used was type 50C, which has a size of 10 mm compressed and an inner diameter of 6 mm. The manufacturer recommends a 2 mm incision, but we enlarged our wound a little bit for better control during insertion. Upon insertion, the ring is directed slightly downwards towards the capsular bag, and while inserting the ring, it's better to keep the trailing end outside the eye, until you're sure that the leading part is positioned properly within the capsular bag. And once you're in, the remaining part of the ring can be advanced smoothly. The ring covers half the area needed, that's why in each case you need to use two ring segments. The second ring is inserted with the same maneuver as the first one, and it's dialed against the first ring to give us the final result, which is a totally closed diaphragm. And as a final touch, both rings were maneuvered, just to make sure that they interdigitate properly filling the gaps in between. Following that, a foldable intraocular lens was inserted into the capsular bag behind the rings successfully. And at the end, viscoelastic was aspirated, the paracentesis was closed with stromal hydration, and the main wound was secured with a single tenu nylon suture. That's all what we've got. Thank you for watching.